Friends and family, we are gathered here today to celebrate the love of Cameron and Jordan as they make their pledges of marriage before God and before this company. The covenant of marriage was established by God and with his presence and power, Jesus graced a wedding at Cana of Galilee and in his sacrificial love gave us the example for the love of husband and wife. This love is like the ocean That's crashing over me It's like falling rain on the driest plains As far as eyes can see I can't imagine my life without you And I cannot wait to continue <laughs> Continue this journey of life with you by my side I promise to show you love every single day, even on Nebraska football days. <laughs> You've shown me what it feels like to truly be in love, and for that, I thank you. This love is like the church bells As loud as they can ring The good man's face on his wedding day Sees his bride to be It's like a little girl holding daddy's hand For everyone to see Yeah, this love <clears throat> As many of you may know, Cameron was a cheerleader through middle school and throughout high school. <laughs> Come on, Eddie. Go. Right. However, before that was her passion, before that was her passion, she was a much better athlete than she ever gets credit for. I know Jordan always shakes his head. He's shaking his head now. <laughs> like he just can't believe it. However, let me share with you the story that always comes to mind about Cameron. She was playing co-ed soccer and was as aggressive or more aggressive than any other player on the field. I know, Jordan. Just saying, it makes me shake my head too. <laughs> but it's true. It is true. Well, during, during the game that, that we were there, a rambunctious fellow on the other team comes running in. He comes running in and just wipes out one of Cameron's teammates. As most fathers do, I was watching her almost constantly, and as the last 30 seconds played out, the ball ended up right in front of our crew that was there watching the game. And who do you think had the ball other than the kid that had just knocked out her teammate? Well, Cameron came charging in with fires in her eye, and again, I'm shaking my head with you, Jordan. And she plows right into the much larger boy and levels him on his backside. She didn't even look to the ball, she did, she just, con the, the play continued down the field, nothing. And she, the rest of the horde was off chasing the ball and Cameron just looked at the lad laying on the ball, or laying on his back and said, you better stay down and don't do that to my teammate again. <laughs> so, since we were all sitting there locally, we all heard it. And I still remember her mother exclaimed, Cameron, don't do that again. While I looked over at her grandfather, and we both kind of smiled and mutually approved. 
I tell this story to let you know, Jordan, that you've been on the team for a while, but now it's really official. And Cameron will always be that person that has your back. Hi Jordan, take you Cameron to be my wife. <laughs> to have and hold from this day forward, for better for worse, for richer for poorer, in sickness and in health, loving to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. I Cameron take you Jordan to be my husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better for worse. <laughs> For rich or for poor, for sickness and health, to love and to cherish until we are parted by death. This is my solemn vow. Jordan, you can kiss your bride now. Starting to see that we're on to something Feel it coming now Here we go